Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today's video is going to focus in on those of you that do first LEGO League and you're wondering or you have questions about your innovative project. So today I'm going to answer questions like, Mr. Hino, we have five minutes. What do you suggest we do in those five minutes? And for those of you that are coaching and those of you that are on the team, some tips or ideas about what you might do for your presentation. So if you want to see all of that, stay with me. Hino, LEGO Robotics. Oh. Okay guys, so our competition is gonna be this Saturday, November 20th. So my team already knows what they're gonna be doing for their presentation, their five minutes for their innovative project. For those of you that are new to First Lego League, your innovative project, and for this year's theme, it's Cargo Connect. So your job was to figure out a solution to a problem that you know affects the efficiency of cargo, the way it's transported, safety, any issue that might affect the cargo getting from its destination to its location. So what you want to do is you have five minutes to present to the judges the problem, your solution, your question, and your sharing. And there's so much involved in this project. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be a tight squeeze to get that into five minutes. So here is the way I would break this down. Obviously, you guys have your own methods, but if you're new to First Lego League, this is the way I would break it down. Our team normally does some type of opening presentation. You can do a skit. You can do some type of, you know, whatever your team might do to present your problem. So the judges have an idea of like, where is this team going to, you know, go with this, with their innovative project? So in the past, my teams have done like a mime skit, just a regular skit. We've done a puppet show, something to just introduce what it is we're going to talk about. And then your team would go straight into the meat of your problem, the question, your solution. Who did you share this problem or your solution with? What did they say back? What did you do with your project after they gave you feedback? So there's so much involved. And if you need to, check the link I put in the description to the rubric for your innovative project. It would be wise for you guys to go through that to make sure that you're seeing the same you know, uh, evaluation that the judges would be looking for to make sure that you're covering all of your bases. So I would normally tell my, my team, maybe do a minute, a minute and a half for whatever your presentation is going to be, your skit, your play, your whatever it is you're going to do to introduce that because you don't want to make it too long because if you make it too long you're limiting how many how much minutes the judges have a chance to interact with your project ask you questions uh, clarify things so one year i remember our team just went way too long and the judges even told us they said next time you should consider shrinking that time because we had so many questions we didn't get a chance to answer. And if they don't get a chance to answer those questions, they can't verify whether you really understood your problem, whether you understood your solution, did you do enough research, did you share this? So you wanna make sure you give those judges time to get any clarifying questions out of the way so they can mark you down for, hey, this team really knows their stuff rather than, hey, that was a really funny presentation or skit you guys did, but we're still left with a lot of questions. And those of you that, you know, it might be too late for some of you, but if you're trying to consider what do we do for our opening presentation, our skit, our, you know, whatever it is we do, coaches and team members, if your team is not excited about practicing whatever this is, you chose the wrong method. Your team should be as excited as they are. And I know this is going to be a tough one to swallow because the robot game is very exciting for students to want to do. But your team should be close to just as excited to be able to practice what this is. They, sh they should be excited like, yeah, this is going to be so funny. This is going to be so fun. And if it's not, you guys need to go a different direction if time permits to change this so that your team is excited about it. The judges are gonna know whether your team is excited about this or not. If your team is like, oh man, here we go, let's do this thing that we hate to do, it's gonna come across in your attitude, your core values, 
and it's just gonna it's gonna set off your presentation just on a bad note. So at this point, my team is like, "Yeah, let's practice that." And you know, I'm like, "Ooh, this is a good thing," because they're excited. They want to you know be able to make the judges laugh. They want to you know whatever it might be that gets your team excited about this project. And then definitely have your experts on this project. So be able to say, Johnny, Johnny, you have the problem. You know, you did the most research on it. You'll be the one to start, you know, the problem off. Um, Susie, you did so much research, research on our solution. You made the, you know, our solution. You're going to be the one that talks about that. You should already have your team knowing their parts. So it's when it's their turn, like, okay, everybody, it's time for our solution. You know, you know exactly who that's going to be. And they're the ones that are going to be the ones that say, you know, it's our experts. It's my turn. They're going to be excited to talk about that. Okay, guys. All right. So hopefully that was helpful for those of you that are just trying to dive into your innovative project. Um, it can be scary, again, for students to be able to speak in front of the judges. But that's when you want to get a lot of practice in. Bring in some adults. Have them almost, you know, be the judges and ask them questions. So they're prepared to answer these and not just freaked out, okay? All right, guys, hopefully this was helpful. I am Mr. Hino from Seals Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.